It was once known as the wickedest town in the West. Now we're gonna check out the old Grand Hotel here in Jerome. It's haunted. That's crazy that it slid and then they pushed it. Last week, we went to Los Algodones, also known as Molar City in Mexico for dental work. Now this week, my mom is visiting. Yay, we will be showing her one of our favorite fun small towns in Arizona, Jerome. Should we take mom off roading? Find out in this video. We are Tom and Cherie with enjoythejourney.life. We share our tips, adventures, and yes, even our mistakes as we travel the country full time in our RV. One of the great things about RV living full time is adventure days and today is one of them yes we are going to jerome an old mining town here in arizona King Mine Ghost Town in Jerome, Arizona. And it's your mom's first time and Logan's first time checking it out. We're in quite the interesting place. <laughs> An old ghost town mine thing. It used to be its own town. You going to the painless dentist? Yes. <laughs> interesting. That is pretty sketch over there. Logan, you need some dental work, right? Yeah. So we That's could just we, here, right? we could just get it done right now. Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. Can you imagine oh, what you'd have to go through? No. I, I can't. Resisting <laughs> <laughs> Iron Range. Oh my gosh. Studebaker cop car. Jeez. I told you that my um, grandfather used to sell, have a Studebaker lot. Yeah. That is crazy. That's what that That's one what is? That's what that is? Mm -hmm. It's the oldest Studebaker in the world. In 1902, Studebaker Brothers made 260 electric horseless carriages, first year. There are three left in the world. That one is 009, off the assembly line. The royal family in England has one in their museum where their coaches, carriages, and cars are. And there's one in Saudi Arabia. That's it. What you cooking? <laughs> oh, a bunch of rust. It's like a little soup. <laughs> <laughs> little rusty soup. Oh, grass thrown in there. Get your iron in for the day and minerals. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a real jail. Yeah, with one bed. Whoa. <laughs> the whole thing moves. Oh yeah, I think this is an old clothes washer of some kind. <laughs> holy cow, lift that iron. I know they probably get it really hot and then holy shit. <laughs> can't lift it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I think it says 20 on it, but I know that weighs more than 20 this pounds. This weighs more than 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Oh my gosh. See? There's a clue right there. It's a sign. We need a popcorn machine. Can we put that in the RV? Yeah, somehow I think microwave popcorn takes up less space. <laughs> you found some pretty rocks. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I don't have any food.
Mom, what did you think of that? I loved it. I <laughs> thought it was great. She likes the Studebakers because her dad had used to sell Studebakers. Mom approved. Mom yeah, approved. Yeah. We're at the Jerome Historic State Park. There's supposed to be some cool stuff to see here, but yeah. we gotta be quick. We have to we be gotta... quick because they close in like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Just like us, just like an enjoy the journey fashion, <laughs> doing everything last minute, right before everything closes. Right. So come along. <laughs> that's right. Our deserts dry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <gasps> I love this bracelet. <laughs> it looks like your color. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Because they have black too. Of course I love black. But yeah, I'm digging this. Yeah, how creepy. Gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> what song what sound does a gargoyle make? Yeah, why did they put them on? Building. It explains it right here. They serve as brain spouts. <laughs> Seems like there's an easier way to make Gar a brain spout. <laughs> Do you think we could use it in the RV? Wow. <laughs> Was this like the very first vacuum cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kodak. Aren't you glad we don't have to record with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cameras have improved a little bit over the years. Look what I got. A Vortex bracelet. How cute is that? <laughs> I'm going to try to figure out how to make them. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, your beach color there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeep color, beach color, and Vortex. This is so cool. So we were looking up information about this cool little town and we read something about a sliding jail. So we're gonna go check it out, come on. In the mid thirties during the slides, it slowly crept 225 feet from its original location to settle in the middle of Hull Avenue over here. So the road was altered to go around it. <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that the jail continued to move to its final resting place here. However, in reality, it was eventually pushed from the whole avenue to its present location where you see it today. So let's go check it out. That's crazy that it slid and then they pushed it. <laughs> it is a little uh, falling apart. They don't build jails like they used to. <laughs> I actually have some family history here in the ghost town of Jerome, Arizona. My grandfather used to live in Clarkdale and rumor has it that he would make his way up to Jerome to kind of party uh, on the weekend. So it was once known as the wickedest town in the West. We're at the historic Audrey Shaft head frame. We get to look down into an old mine. This should be cool. What does this take you down into the shaft? Lift me up. <laughs> down. Ready to go? <laughs> it's hard to see how deep it is. Is it safe to stand on this? You want to know how deep it is? It is 1,900 feet deep. <gasps> And oh my god. Here's the comparisons right here. The shaft is 650 deeper than the Empire State. Okay, it's 1900 feet. Wow, it's more than twice the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Whoa. I'm wondering if you can see our RV down in the Verde Valley because we're right by the Red Rocks. And so there's cottonwood. So if you go out this way, right over there, I see something white. 
In the far, far distance, I think that's us. <laughs> Jerome was once the fourth largest city in the state of Arizona with 15,000 people. That was like back in the early 1900s. And now it's maybe got 500 people or less in the town. There's so many people that ask me where I get that necklace that I wear a lot, and I got it right here at this kaleidoscope store called Nellie Bly. And it's up here in Jerome, up on the hill. This is the coolest town. It actually overlooks the Verde Valley, it has a great view of the Red Rocks in Sedona. And when you come up here, there's so many cool little shops, and it's like a ghost town. They actually say there's ghosts up in this haunted hotel. <laughs> this is the Bartlett House right here that's had a lot of history. It was the first two-story building in Jerome. It's kind of a, what, a wishing well now? You can throw change down in there and you've got an outhouse. Let's see if you can make it in the <laughs> potty hole. <laughs> In the early 1900s, Jerome was known for, well, kind of some, a little adult entertainment. This is not the town that you want to be walking and looking at your phone. Now we're going to check out the old Grand Hotel here in Jerome. It's haunted. Look at all these stories. <laughs> Actual guest so stories of their haunted experience. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. Look how long some of these are. How many ghosts are there here? <laughs> um, we don't know. We don't know how many people pass away here. Somewhere around anywhere from eight to nine thousand. Oh wow. Strange EMF readings in our room. The EMF went off over our bed when we asked Claude to leave, the meter stopped. This happened all night. You do experience what? Sometimes other ways, like um, auditory sometimes. It's, it is pretty strange, um, but definitely our guests to tell me about their experiences, and there's a lot of that book over there for sure. Wow. We should come and stay the night here. Yes, we should. Night. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. What is that? Wow. Cool. That is cool. <laughs> One thing in Jerome, <laughs> you gotta find your parking where you can, do a lot of walking. Haunted hamburger. <sighs> Work up an appetite. with uh, grilled onions. Oh, I think Logan's wins. Yeah, it always does. You gotta go to the barbecue. <laughs> Logan's looks like it's got the biggest stack. <laughs> I need oh, that was big enough. What did you get, honey? I got a regular cheeseburger with crispy onions on top.
that's four by four rec vehicles recommended. Yep, this is it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> we have a skid plate. Yeah, but our clearance, how high is our clearance? That's my concern. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It smoothens out. Why would you do this? <laughs> Okay, back there, mom. I am hanging on for dear life. <laughs> you can hang on to this, mom. Good news, we are halfway through. Yeah, they see they put plate metal underneath. You can peel that. that off now. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys doing? Looking to damage. Are you worried? Just looking. <laughs> You're not worried, are you? Now, if you really get under there and look, there's a skid plate that you'll see down there, and it's made for that. You got to get way down and look up underneath. I see. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. Oh. I feel good. <laughs> I'm good. Like before, you were just nervous. I was like, what is going on under there? I need to see this. <laughs> I need to understand how this works. <laughs>